hi guys how is everyone doing today welcome back to my channel today i'm cooking in the kitchen and i just want to share with you guys how i prep my chicken um cook it and how you know i bag it into the freezer uh, just for me to have something to cook with during the week so be it chicken be it meat fish or anything i always prep it ahead of time so that during the week i have um my protein to use to make my meals okay so today i'll be showing you how to do chicken okay so i have two whole chicken which i told them in the uh, meat market to cut into sizes for me and i cut them into medium size so i'm just gonna um wash them over here in the sink wash them clean them you know put my spices and everything and i'll prep them for the week so come along with me okay so guys what i do in the sink here i have my meat here in the sink my chicken and i also have gizzard in this pack okay so here i have two whole chicken okay so i'm just gonna clean it up then put it in here for it to drain you know then i can start cooking so normally i don't eat the chicken skin i take the chicken skin off okay and i take all of the fat off of the chicken just to prep it very well once i prep it very well it's good for me to go okay so during the week so i know some people use vinegar or salt to wash their chicken but you know this is how we clean our chicken in nigeria where we grow up we just use water and clean it very very good remove all the blood remove all the fat from the chicken and you know that's how we cook it yeah vinegar is good it will kill all the germs and everything i know some people also put salt in it to clean it out okay so but we in our culture we don't do that we just use clean water and wash out all the um all the yucky stuff from the meat you know so that's how we do it i just wanted to show you how i clean my meat So, we continue cleaning so you see I just pull out the skin I don't eat the skin of the chicken because all the fat is in the skin so I just want only the good stuff okay so the ones the part of the chicken I cannot uh, pull out the skin I just leave it there so when it's cooked and the skin is easy i just peel it off okay so this is how i prep my chicken so we're done with the chicken now so i'll show you how to marinate okay guys i finished cleaning my chicken and i have a big pot of chicken here and over here i also cleaned the gizzard that i showed you i have the gizzard here so I'm just going to um, divide the chicken into two because obviously it's too big to be cooked in this pot. So I'm going to put it in two pots. So it's going to be um, enough for me. It's going to be okay for me to cook in both pots. Okay. And also the gizzard is going to go here too because gizzard and chicken you know they have the same the same cooking time okay so it's gonna go like that let me just wash my hand again so so i have it here and i have another one another uh pot here okay so now over here let me show you i have onion i have ginger i have uh, maggi um nut cube and i'm using nut chicken i have garlic salt over here 
I have my Himalayan pink salt here, and this one comes with um, rainbow peppercorn. Okay. I have my oregano here. I have thyme. I have curry. Okay. And I also have ginger. Okay. Over here, too, I have ginger, which I peeled and cut. But this one I got from Costco. This is just to give it, uh, because this one have a tangy sweet taste to it so I like to mix it um, with the other uh, ginger the natural ginger that have not been blended okay so let's get cooking so this is how I just you know put it a little bit not too much in the meat okay then I go ahead and put my curry you know everything I just eyeball I don't have a specific measurement for them you know this is usually the case with Nigerian cooking or homemade cooking okay so I put in my time put in my time Put in the oregano leaves. I, al I always like oregano leaves when I'm boiling my meat. It gives it a very good flavor. Okay. Then I go in with the garlic, garlic salt. So I'm always mindful because this garlic already has some salt in it. So when I'm adding my salt, I'm be careful with it. So I put in some ding ginger. Oh, my ginger dropped. <laughs> it dropped. Okay. Then my onion is going to go there. Then my knock you. Okay. Put in my knock you. So you would think uh, this meat is too much. Why is she making so much meat? So I just do this to save time so that anytime I want to cook, I have, um, you know, my protein. If it's chicken I want to cook, I have my protein in there for me. You know, I just go in the freezer, uh, defrost it in the microwave, then is I have meat for me to cook because our African food, it takes time before you cook the meat. Then you cook the pepper, depending on whatever you want to cook, and prep the vegetable and all that, it takes time. So once I do this and my meat is ready, you know, it's a snap, okay? So I just go in with my hand and I mix in all of it. I mix them very, very well. I mix it in, I mix it in. Let me... Uh, take out this one I did see I'm just take out the feathers I did see it when I was cleaning it okay so then I bring this one forward and I just mix it with my hands okay make sure all the spice I put in it gets into the meat just mix it up very very well okay and now it's ready to cook okay so let me just wash my hand again then I'll transfer to the stove okay before I transfer to the stove let me go ahead and put in some Himalayan salt you know I didn't put salt before so I just put in some salt like so put in some salt and I will transfer it to the stove so transferring it to the stove I didn't put 
no water in it because the chicken itself will bring out all of its water and that's the water we use to cook it so i just put in some himalayan salt now so i'm just gonna go ahead just give it a little toast okay just toss it all together so that the salt will go in so wash my hand again then we'll transfer to the stove okay So I've transferred it to the stove now. I'm going to cook it. I'm going to cook the meat for about 45 minutes to one hour. Yeah, this is hard chicken, okay? It's not the normal soft chicken. This is hard chicken. So I'll cook it in there for like 45 minutes and make it very, very soft, okay? So when the, um, the chicken is ready, I will show you. So guys, the chicken is still boiling. It hasn't um, cooked thoroughly as I would like. It's not as soft as I would like and will be uh, enjoyable, okay? So I'm still cooking it. I just want to show you. It's still boiling in there, so we have a few more to go. Okay, I just thought I should stir the meat up. Just stir it around so that it will cook you know evenly and every part of the meat will be well cooked if you are not nigerian and you're watching me this is how we cook our meat you know guys there's blood there's disease in blood so in nigeria we cook our meat very very well we cook it well done we boil it for a long time so that if there's anything in the blood of the animal all the disease will be uh you know will be dead so we cook our meat very very well i know you'll be wondering if you are not nigerian why is she cooking like this why is she cooking chicken like this well this is how we we cook it so the same also for any kind of meats either be uh cow meat uh beef or goat meat or lamb or any kind of meat you know you know we cook it like this we put it in the pot and let it cook for a long time you know just to kill out any of the disease in it okay so i think it's ready now so i'm just going to allow it cool down then you know get my ziplock bag and portion it in my ziplock bag and put it in my freezer so with that i have meat for two three weeks to cook so i don't have to keep cooking meat anytime i want to cook um food so i do this also for my goat meat i do this for any kind of meat i want to use i just prep them ahead of time you no know, you know divide it into portion like two three portions i will use over over the week or over you know in the course of time okay so stay tuned i will show you after i portion it and i put it in the freezer okay guys the meat is is ready okay the chicken is ready and this is my ziplock bag i already put a date here august 2019 so i know i made the uh, meat in august 2019 and i already put one in the bag i have one bag here already and i have the gizzard also in the bag okay so i'm just going to pack this uh, remaining one it's still a bit hot though but you know i don't have much time now so just put it in the bag like so so i have enough meat to cook my meal so when i'm ready to cook my meals and i need chicken i just go in the freezer you know just defrost it in the microwave and i have meat you know so this saved me time you know on the day that i want to cook it saves me time so i just have meat and i just you know go ahead and prep the other uh, uh ingredient i need to use for my food and i cook my food okay so so this is how i prep my meat for my nigerian meal so i have one here i have one here and i have another one here okay 
so guys i hope this has been helpful to you if you are from nigeria and you struggle with um cooking you know it takes uh, it takes time two three hours you are in the kitchen cooking you know cooking just uh, one or two meals it really takes time so if you have time you prep your meat ahead so um you have um your meat ready on the day you want to cook okay guys so thank you all for watching and make sure you uh give my video a thumbs up uh like and share with your friends so i'll see you in my next one guys bye